Hey, audiophile. Today, I'll show you how to fix broken speaker terminals, also known as binding posts, by replacing them on any home audio speakers. I'll be doing the repair on these Swiss-made Piega loudspeakers. Speaker terminals can get damaged during transport or if you're using oversized bi-amping or bi-wiring cables that simply snap off the connectors. These terminals support spade plugs, banana plugs, and even bare wire without connectors. The first step is to unscrew the panel where the broken speaker terminals are mounted. Once it's out, you'll see whether you'll need to borrow your grandma's soldering kit. I got lucky today, no soldering needed. Start by unscrewing the first damaged terminal. Just make sure to remember how all the parts are stacked. Then, order a replacement speaker terminal set. There are many types. You'll find a few links in the video description. Disassemble the new terminal to see which parts you'll actually need for the repair. The more original parts you can keep, the better, especially if you're working with high-end speakers like these Piega C2. Make sure to tighten the terminal nut very firmly. While reinstalling the terminal, check that the hole for the speaker wire is facing the right direction. Also, bend the metal plate securely to prevent the nut from loosening over time. Here's the final result, and I'm really happy with it. You can use this same method to replace all speaker terminals and even upgrade to higher quality ones, which can actually improve your sound quality. If this video was helpful, hit that subscribe button so we can steal that YouTube 100K subscriber button and test how much bass it can handle. And just a reminder, last time I showed you how to make your own custom high quality speaker jumper cables,